Hello everybody, welcome to the Music Battle 1813, and today we have the debut of two new rotation teams. Replacing Duke Nukem and Lara Croft will be the first team of Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. So now we have a Resident Evil team, and that's pretty epic. The other is Pikachu and Perrin's replacement, Team Pokemon number 2, which consists of Mewtwo and Lucario. Which of these two teams will start off with a bang? Guess we'll see as we head to the Phantom Train outstage. Hope you guys enjoy! I expect a pretty nice performance from both sides. Let's see if I'm right. Come on. Jill ready for combat. Round, Round one. one. Let's see what happens. Alright, Chris misses the kick there at Lucario. Gets knocked back by Silver. Great Chris Redfield stands before him. Mewtwo tries for an aerial second wave attack. Now Chris tries to land the low kick. Lucario slams Jill back. Now Mewtwo unloading with that big electric wave. Wait right the Lucario's aerial fist. Mewtwo spamming those electric waves more. Chris with a low punch to Lucario. Mewtwo knocks him back to the left wave. And now Lucario gets knocked back by a Silver. And Jill getting saved by Lucario's uppercut taking her out. And now Mewtwo and Lucario trying to put away Chris Redfield. And Lucario knocked out of his sky uppercut. Mewtwo approaches with some dark energy. Falling the electric waves. Lucario spamming the aura spheres. Chris buried in the corner. Big up smash the away from Mewtwo, taking Chris out. And Team Pokemon 2 has massacred Team Resident Evil in round 1. Let's see if Chris and Jill can battle back in round 2. Alright, let's see if Mewtwo gets knocked back by Jill Psychic. Rachel a big orange fire attack will slam Mewtwo. Lucario has a fight out of Jill. Orange Sphere shot. Now Chris gets a big high punch off of Mewtwo. Mewtwo battles back out of the corner with the electric wave. Lucario sandwiches him for a low jab. And Jill nearly take it out. Now Jill gets a special summon. As he Mewtwo trying to attack Chris Revine. Now Chris battles back with a blue flame tackle. Laying into Mewtwo and Lucario hard. And Jill summons a giant monster. Now Mewtwo nearly take it out by a flamethrower shot. But Lucario takes them both out with a sky uppercut following the flame zombie. And Team Pokemon number two off to a big winning start here. 2-0 over Team Resident Evil. Man, that was a crazy encounter. I thought Jill and Chris were going to pull a comeback, but nope. Mewtwo and Lucario have shut the window on them pretty hard. And Team Pokemon number two off to a great start here. Hopefully they can keep it going, and Chris and Jill unfortunately start with their first loss. I'm sure Team Resident Evil will battle back later. Anyways, folks, hope you guys enjoyed these brand new, these brand new uh, two rotation teams I brought in. Hopefully they both do well. Unfortunately, Chris and Jill are going to be hindered for a little while, but hopefully they'll bounce out of this. Anyway, stay tuned for Mission Battle 1814, coming soon. Later, all. Howdy, peoples. It's TK8305. Sorry if I'm speaking low. Hope you guys can hear me. The parents are home, so they're watching TV in the living room. I can't talk loud or they're going to yell at me, so yeah. Anyways, this is to address the Musion controversy that happened with 1811 and 1812 with the upgraded Highway Star coming in to fight Hulk and the Nobunaga Orochi Vega round 3 controversy with the instant death lightning bolt. I just want to say for 1811, the upgraded Highway Star will not be lasting very long on my roster. I only ever I only have her scheduled for like 3 more matches and she's going to be going up against just as cheap characters just to make it even and more fair. And then after that, Highway Star will be gone from my roster for good, so you guys don't have to harbor any hate or anything else. She'll be gone very soon. I'm just going to let her run her 1800 course and boom, she's gone. For the 1900s, I got someone much better and less broken and will actually be a feasible, tough contender. So I'm sure you guys will like who I got coming up next. And as for the 1812 controversy with Nobunaga doing the one-hit KO lightning bolt on Orochi Vega in round three, I plan to give Orochi Vega a rematch later down the road so he can try again against Nobunaga, and I will most likely ban that one-hit KO lightning bolt so we can see if an OV could actually put him away legitly, you know, without without being screwed over like in the other round three. So don't worry, OV will get some redemption later down the road, folks. So I just wanted to address this, and I might take away Nobunaga's lightning bolt depending on if he spams it and other sets off camera when I try to record. If he does that, I'll probably keep redoing the set until he stops doing it. I want to keep Nobunaga, you know, he is already kind of broken with the cape rape and everything, but I allow that because he, Nobunaga works his opponent's down to half health before he does it, so that's acceptable. Kind of like how Hien's only allowed to get one Electro Beam off at a time and takes half the health of an opponent. And he's got to work his meter up to do it again, so that I can allow because Hien has to work his bar up like everybody else, so that's fine as long as he's got to do that. Same with Nobunaga. He's got to work for his specials too, but the one-hit KO Lightning Bolt does go over the top, so... I'll make sure he doesn't do that in any more future sets. And just so you guys know, the first time I recorded that set, I did not expect that attack to come out at all. I was just as surprised as the rest of you were. Because I didn't know he even had that for a level 3. Until Oro Crimson told me too late about it. So, I found out the hard way just like you guys, and Orochi Vega found out the hard way too. And I feel sorry for him, so... He's definitely going to get a rematch later down the road. And I'll make sure that set's very, you know... I'll try to make sure that set's as even as I can possibly get it. And we're finally going to have a legit winner. 
if Nobunaga could win the second second go, uh, the second the, well the rematch with Ov without using the lightning bolt, then I'll see Nobunaga as more of a you know a legitimate threat against Ov because honestly I think Ov could have turned that match around if he had the chance, and that lightning bolt did screw him over and he doesn't deserve that. So Ov's gonna get some redemption later down the road, and I'll make sure of that. There's definitely gonna be a rematch with those two, no question. As for the Hulk, I got a nice comeback match for him. I'm giving him someone that's more on his level for the next fight, and I should have done that before. I shouldn't have screwed the Hulk over. I should have threw, like, Segalo in or someone else who wasn't doing well. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm sure no one would have cared if Segalo would have got owned or Morgan or someone else, or, like, Ness. And I, this Hulk deserved better, honestly, and, I'm, and I do apologize to the Hulk fans that wanted to see him win and everything. This Hulk didn't deserve that. It's kind of like how I threw Yoko against Kami, knowing how tough she was. And I kind of feel bad doing that to Yoko. And the Hulk is going to get some redemption, so don't worry, guys. I'm going to right the wrongs. So if Nobunaga does the lightning trick again, boom, I'm redoing the set and doing it over and over and over until he fights fair. And same with uh, and with Upgraded Highway Star. If she starts juggling the crap out of people and they get flawless, I'm going to keep doing the set over and over until Upgraded Highway Star just doesn't really spam it on you know the cheap, cheap, cheap character, on the other cheap character she fights. Like, she'll probably end up getting Kami next. Yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, Kami will fight the upgraded Highway Star next. And if Kami, if Highway Star misses the juggle, Kami's going to punish her royally. Because Kami has beaten her 2-0 before off camera, folks. So, if anyone's going to have a chance of putting her away, it's going to be Kami. And Nobunaga might get a crack at her later, too. So, we'll see. Like I said, I plan to right the wrongs. I'm going to start, like I said, I'm going to start trying to de-cheapen some of these characters. I'm still trying to... I'm still trying to lower the power in Hien's beam without lowering his physical attack, and that's kind of tricky. I might have to have Doom Guy look into it, look into the character. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of make a video and talk about this. This will probably be attached to the end of uh, the 1813 battle, so you should see me talking about this after the next fight that's coming up tomorrow. Well, it should be uploaded tomorrow. So hopefully you guys won't be too mad at me <laughs> or anything or harbor a grudge. I mean, I'm just trying to entertain you guys. I didn't expect this controversy, honestly. You know, I, I, I do listen to you guys. I take your advice. If you guys say a guy a character's too cheap, I'm going to get rid of them. No questions asked. Because I don't want to get dislikes or hate or anything like that. So, upgraded Highway Star, she's gone when the 1900s come around. I just want her to run her course real quick, and then I'll just get her out of there, and I'll have someone else take her place that's less broken and more feasible as a fighter. And... As for the Nobunaga OV thing, like I said before, Orochi Vega is going to get a rematch later, and Nobunaga's lightning bolt spam will be uh, his one-hit KO lightning bolt will be bought, will be banned from the next fight. So that way, OV gets a legitimate chance at being Nobunaga without being screwed over again. So I hope you guys appreciate what I'm doing for you here, and I hope that addresses the controversy that's that happened the the other day. So, and I promise I'll try to make the rest of these matches from here on out really, really good. So I don't want you guys to be let down. I'm trying to deliver in every possible set that I can. Unfortunately, some of them I flop on. I can't help that. You're going to have some winners. You're going to have some losers. You're going to have some stinkers. So, <laughs> not much you can do there. Anyways, folks, I'll see you later. I'm going to go eat my pizza now as I was making dinner. So, hope you guys forgive me and I'll, I promise to do better in my future fights. So, stay tuned for them and see you guys later. Peace out.